chemical products of elements of the main groups and the modern periodic table. Okay? We will study two groups. Okay? First one, alkali metals in group 1A, two halogens in group 7A or group 17. Okay. Let's start with our first group about products of alkali metals. Okay, in group 1A. Okay. The first the first thing will be started about the location. Okay? The location in the modern periodic table. Okay. The group 1A lies on the left side in the modern periodic table. Okay? And it is the first group in S block. It's the first group in S block. Okay? These elements are lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and fraction. Okay? But the attention. Fraction here not considered from alkali metals. Okay? Because the fraction is radioactive element. And all the time emits rays. Okay? But belong in group 1A. Okay. The first one we will start the physical process of alkali metals. As you know it, the group 1A okay, considered from metals. So all metals they are good conductors of heat and electricity. Okay. Number two. Most of them have low density, have low density, as is shown in the figure. Okay, okay, as you can see here, sorry, this is a chart illustrating the densities of alkali metals. Okay, if I want to compare, okay, look at here. Lithium and sodium and potassium have low density, while rubidium and cesium have high density. Okay? So, if I want, if you compare between their densities relative to the density of water, okay? But you must know the density of water equals 1 gram per centimeter cube. Okay? So, I will lose that. Lithium and sodium and potassium, their densities have smaller than the density of water. Okay? So they float on water surface. Okay? So they can float on water surface. While rubidium and cesium, okay, sink in water. This is why, because their densities are more than the density of water. Okay? That's clear. <coughs> okay. Let's start with our chemical products. The first one, they are monovalent. Okay, this is why. Okay. Look at me. Lithium here is atomic number 3 and the atomic configuration 2, 1. Sodium, its atomic number is 11 and the atomic configuration 2, 8, 1. Potassium, 19. The atomic configuration 2, 8, 8, 1. Okay. What do you observe? Hmm. All of them, all of them, all of them, their outermost energy levels have only one electron. Have only one electron. Okay?
So the alpha capitals we are monovalent. Okay. So we tend to lose okay the valence electron during the chemical reaction and the change into positive ions, and each of them carries one positive charge. Carries one positive charge. Okay. As you can hear, alpha metals change into positive ion. Okay. The third one, the alpha metals are active elements, so they are kept under kerosene or graphene oil, except lithium. Why? Because if you put a piece of lithium, okay, and kerosene, it will burn immediately. So they are kept the lithium, it kept under graphene oil. Okay. Uh, so the elements are chemical active, so it should be stored under kerosene or graphene oil to prevent. Number four, okay, they react with water, forming alkaline solution, forming alkaline solution. So they are named the alkaline. So if I, if I ask you, why group A named alkaline metal? So the answer here, because they react with water, forming alkaline solution. Okay? Okay, for example here, for example here, sodium react with water, okay, forming, forming alkaline solution, okay, pay attention, all alkaline end of OH. Plus hydrogen gas evolves. Okay, this equation is not balancing. Okay, so here we put two here and we put two here. So we have two atoms of sodium here. Okay, and here we have one only. Okay, so we put two here. Okay. So this equation is balanced. Okay. Another example: potassium react with water, also forming uh, this compound called sodium hydroxide. Okay. Forming this is this compound called sodium hydroxide, but this compound called Potassium hydroxide, okay, and hydrogen gas evolves, okay, two here and two here, okay, and two here, okay. If I want to compare between two reactions, I will lose the reaction of potassium with water is stronger than the reaction of sodium with water. This is why, okay. Let's back to let's back to that alkaline method. Okay, look at here. The potassium name comes after sodium, so the atomic size of potassium here is larger than the atomic size of potassium. So what does it mean? that the potassium is more active than sodium, okay? But the attention by increasing the atomic size, the metallic property increases, okay? And the activity also increases. Okay, here two equations here. 
finally, the chemical activity increases at the atomic volume, increases before the reaction of potassium, when water is more stronger than the reaction of sodium with water. Okay? Okay, look at the cesium, it's the most active metallic element in the modern periodic table. Okay? This is why? Because it has the largest atomic size, so it can lose its valency electron, valency electron easily. Okay? Okay, let's move on to the halogens. Halogens, okay? The first one, province of halogens, group 7A or group 70. Okay? The first thing, the first step will be started about the allocation. Okay? They are located, they are located on the right side, okay? The right side came okay, before inert gases, okay? Before inert gases. And this group within, within B block, within B block, okay? So these elements are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, acetone, okay? All of them, all of them are found, are found in the nature, are found in the nature, except as the time, except as the time is prepared artificially, okay? It is prepared artificially, okay? The first thing, okay, here, province of halogens, okay? The first thing, here, Province of halogens. First one, physical province. Okay, because the halogens consider from non metals, so they are bad conductors of heat and electricity. Number two, they are found in a solid, a liquid, and gaseous state at the following table. Okay, so this table. Straight in the, gap, the physical states of halogens. Okay, look at here. The iodine exists in solid state. Bromine exists in liquid state. While fluoride and chlorine exists in gas state. Okay. Number two, A or three. Sorry, B exist in the form of diatomic diatomic molecules okay what does it mean okay i want to explain this point what is the difference between cl and cl2 hmm. cl here this is a symbol or this is a form of simple element Okay, but here, no, this is no single element. Okay, because Cl2 here is color, chlorine molecule. Chlorine molecule is a form of molecule. Okay, this is here, chlorine is a form of simple element. Okay, so this is the difference between them. Okay, here they exist in the form of dietary molecules F2, Cl2, Br2, I2. Else they are monovalent. Why? Because in their outermost energy levels have seven electrons. Have seven electrons. Okay? And they tend to gain one electron during the chemical reaction. During the chemical 
each of them carries one negative charge, one negative charge. Okay. Else, they do not exist in natural and elementary state. This is why, because they are combining with other elements, forming chemical compounds. Okay. Look at here. Potassium. Potassium here is a metal. That's right. Bromine here is another metal. And consider from alloys. Okay. So the potassium here we act with bromine, forming potassium bromide. Forming potassium bromide. And this is a form of salt. Due to 
that the decrease in its boiling point at negative 196 Celsius degree. Finally, radioactive cobalt 60. So it's used in food, preservation of the food, okay? Because why? Because it's reduced or emits. Emits gamma rays. Okay? So the gamma rays can, can prevent the reduction of microbial. Okay? But pay attention here. The gamma rays not affect the human. Okay? So it's used to food preservation because it emits gamma rays which stop the reduction of cell microbes. Okay? So this is end of lesson three. Thank you.